So by careful measuring from the sides and of course like this I've established that um, the column is leaning a little bit a little bit towards me now so I have to correct it by scraping a little bit more on that side and it's leaning a little bit backwards not much but a little bit so I have to correct it by scraping here that means you to tilt it a little bit the whole column and then I will do this direction so as I said it tilts a little bit to the rear that way at the height of the of the level there it's about uh, two hundreds as far as I can measure maybe three so if I then scrape harder here i will tilt the column forwards then it was a little bit like this so inwards and <coughs> uh, looking at the column from the bottom with the front here i will then uh, step scrape it so meaning i will divide this area uh, or move it uh, with first in this direction and then in this direction so for the for the reverse tilt, I will take uh, away material uh, in the front most. So let, if I divide it into four, I'll take this four times, and then this three times. No, sorry, this three times, two times, and one time. So I will then begin here, take this, and then I will include the. This and then the third time I will include this. This way I've shifted this from being um, low to contact more. Um, then we'll do the same on the uh, towards uh, the the side. So just divide it into segments and then do the same there. Uh, I will, however, also uh, take away the uh, the middle area here. So, um, from a markup perspective, I don't think it was too bad, really. Remember, this is the column sitting on the pad up, up there, the big plate. And uh, this, is, uh, this is the front, yes. So, at least it's marking up all over. A little bit shy here, probably, but um, this is after be relieving these areas as you can see and um, I'm gaining a little bit but still need some forward tilt so I'll scrape even further here and I haven't done the sides yet so you can of course debate whether it's of any use to to do what I have started with namely to take down uh, to get um, this area down trying to catch up here uh, when I have to tilt it anyway but uh, well, I guess either way works, but I like to have the shot to take it straight down and then manage to get it uh, almost okay, but still have to finish off uh, tilting it a little bit. You could have first tilt it first and then just finish off. Maybe that would be uh, better. So now I have emerged, so I have a four shim here and a five will just try to pass under meaning that we're very close I mean five minus four is one so within 100 so a millimeter um, as I said I could have started off with this tilting but I wanted a flat surface to to, <laughs> to begin with then uh, not sure either, either way uh, would have worked but um, anyway so now almost done there and then I will do the the other way this way and for those of you that wonder how I measure to the side I will use the machine surface at the side here of the top of the dolte so I know I now can use this and also alternatively I can use this of course but 
Here it's a little bit more prone to error, so you must be very careful. But anyway, this flat surface here. And then the same as I've learned at least to insert a shim of known size. Sorry, this is now <laughs> tilted, so I'll put it up here. Because it's it's uh, it's leaning this way. And then finding out with the difference. So this is a four and here we have a seven, which does enter which means it's three, eight will not enter, at least not uh, without force. So meaning that I have to tilt it three hundreds on that distance. And for those of you that aren't familiar with step scraping, um, the column is or was tilting uh, to that side at the top, meaning that I had a gap here, so meaning that it sits like this, I mean, higher here, so therefore I take down this side most. So I um, stepped it, zero, one, two, three, four, five, and I begin at number five, and I've taken that one direction, and then I'll proceed here with number four also. And then I will include number five, of course. And I'll finish that, I'll uh, do it the other way and include number three, and then so on number two and one, and then leave this. That's the way to do it. Success at last, two equal shims, up and down, that sits the same, proving that the column is straight in that direction. And then, verifying the same is true here, which it is. So maybe, no, I could maybe tilt it a little bit more forward, but uh, we'll see it's within uh, plus minus half a hundredth or one millimeter, one hundredth of a millimeter, I guess.